Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. And in the last episode, guys, we were finally able to get our first dose of stabilizer, thanks to Dr. Sabine. And uh, we now have a full complement of dice to use for the various actions around the station. We also met uh, Fang, and here in his docking bay, we've got an option to deliver data. Fang will pay you well for any Solheim data you dredge up from the eyes old systems. What he does with it is anyone's guess. Input one Solheim data. Do we actually... Solheim cipher? Does that work? No, it was, does not. And we also have some Haven Age data. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and I, I this gives us a lot of options here. I have a feeling that, well, first things first, we're going to head over here and help out Dragos. Hull dissection. Manual salvage. So this is risky. So 25% chance of a negative outcome, but 75% for either neutral or positive. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Back in business and 15 cryo, and we are in good shape there. Cool. And the action is now unavailable, which means we can go talk to Dragos again. Cool. And we will do that here in a second. Um, we've got the shipyard. We'll look at the grid here in a second. Anything we can do to help out? We can go ahead and... I mean, we've got 19. We've got enough for some more food. That would go ahead and finish up our... What are these called again? I keep on forgetting. Drives? Yeah. Our drives here with Emphis. Should we get some breakfast first? Yeah, why not? Let's input 15 cryo. For some more fungus cuisine. Cool. Energy's up. And that should go ahead and... Get us that. What's going on here at the exchange? Sell components, which we do not have. We can play the exchange for some money. I mean, we've got this. But I think our real money will be in um, salvaging stuff. And just to double check, I believe when it comes to... Sabine, we need 100 cryo to get another thing of stabilizer. And our opportunities for dice and everything will drop the weaker we get. We also have this scrap freighter. I'll tell you what, let's uh, see what Dragos is up to. Then we'll talk to Emphis. And then see what we're going to use our remaining dice for. You arrive into a buzz of activity at the yard. Red blinking lights flash across a vast dark shape suspended below the dome. They flicker across scorched hull plates and bent structures spilling from holes in the twisted shape. The cutter is huge, and has been torn apart in some violent encounter. Uh, she's a beauty, isn't she? Draco stands to the side, focused on the hulking ship as it's lowered into the yard. What is it? Dragos laughs. <laughs> well, that, my friend, is A-grade scrap. I should thank you. This place was on its last legs when you turned up, and now look at this. The ship descends slowly, its interior visible through multiple hull breaches. You struggle to gather the same enthusiasm as Dragos for this monstrous craft. You can't help but think of what became of its crew. What happened? What do you mean? He glances at you. I managed to convince our salvager friends to give it to me on credit. That's what happened. Uh, no, I mean, what happened to the ship? Not my concern, he shrugs. 
The ship creaks like a calving iceberg as it reaches the base of the yard. Dragos is visibly excited. I know I said you shouldn't stick around, but I'm gonna need some help with this one. The drones start to crawl over the hulk, their lights illuminating flashes of dented hull. Watching, you wonder if you arrived in a similar fashion. Locked inside that container, the wreck of the Essen Arp freighter lowered into the yard like a corpse ready to be butchered? Or was the container delivered to Dragos on its own? A womb for your rebirth into this strange station. You shudder. Perhaps if you could learn something about this ship, you might be able to trace the path that led you to this yard. Drago squeezes your shoulder. After these past cycles, I think we're up for it. What do you think? You see the fading name of the ship emblazoned on its side. Winter Light. Let's do it. He claps you on the back. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Come back in a few and we can make a start. Real beauty, Dragos repeats, perhaps just to himself. You take one last look at the shattered ship as the drones start cutting and then slip out of the yard, feeling suddenly cold in the empty passage. Well, Dragos is happy. Paid off achievement unlocked. So, oh, tutorial, characters, and upgrades. You completed your first drive. Each drive completed unlocks an upgrade point to spend on upgrading your character. Access your character menu via the arrow button at the top right of the screen. Okay. Um, Drago's nerve. Drago seems increasingly nervous about your presence in the yard. You're not sure he's going to hold his nerve much longer. Well, great. Love to hear that. So now we have the winter light and yard clearance. Danger, danger, danger. And then just a safe action that we can go ahead and afford to spend dice on. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit harder to do. I'd like to think we could do both a day, provided our... Hmm. That, uh, that rope's just going to get tighter and tighter. Alright, let's talk to Emphis. Wait, can we look at the upgrades here? Intercept chance, or transfer intercept chance to gain cryo on interface actions. That's nice. Use strength or strength of will, we'd lose our minus one. I may have to do some research on this because... Oh, this is two upgrade points. Looks like I can get icebreaker though. Agent nodes give double data rewards. Hmm. Oh, one upgrade point, then a second upgrade point. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Three in all. Well, that's reasonable. Sleeper! Emphis calls out to you. A booming voice that echoes through the corridor. Tell me a story. He throws a handful of chopped mushrooms into his walk, the fire leaping up to meet the oil. I see you. Cycle in, cycle out. But we never speak. Tell me a story. Um, what kind? Any kind. He pauses to drizzle something from a plastic bottle into the walk. But one of yours. He looks up at you. Nothing stolen. You pause, the spices rich in your nostrils, and think about the kind of story you'd like to tell. Tell Emphis. You look at Emphis, the listener, and imagine he's heard it all before. Perhaps he would enjoy a strange story, something with some spice. Well, we definitely have some spice in our dreams, don't we? Maybe we'll get a little bit of uh, therapy as well. We'll tell him about our dreams. All the sleepers, you tell Emphis, had dreams. Some were simple, memories left over from the emulation process that had become tangled up in their minds and would come out when they slept. It wasn't rare to hear a sleeper in the dorm scream or cry out in the night. But your dreams, those gray skeletal afterimages of systems and structures, of threads and patterns weren't like the others. They weren't memories or nightmares, they were reflections of reality. 
Distorted, yes, but somehow true. You learned back then to keep quiet about them, to let them flow through your mind like water. That was until now, until you arrived in this place. Now your dreams colonize your waking life. They slip behind your eyelids with every blink. And now you understand they aren't dreams at all, but some process of interfacing, of speaking, of living in another world that flows through this one like smoke through air. You tell him that you do not know if there's a reason for your dreams. Perhaps you reason it is some side effect or a particular quality of the frame you inhabit. But what, what, whatever it is, it's a gift, and you hope to make use of it. Emphis finishes cooking and squints a little at you. Sleeper, he smiles, you are quite the storyteller. He eyes you, and you realize that he's trying to gauge how honest you've been in your story. Emphis passes you the meal he's cooked, and you take it gratefully. As you eat, he talks. A natural exchange. Thank you, sleeper. He looks around at the emptying market. But my time is done for today, and I do not want to keep you longer, so I will make a proposal. He gestures to the plastic boxes of ingredients stacked behind his stall. These are good enough for most, but someone told me a story that made me think a couple of cycles ago. They said that across the gap, in the greenway, fresh mushrooms grow. Have you heard this? No. Neither had I, but I trust the one who told me. Envis begins packing up his things. Can you bring me some? I cannot cross the gap, and I worry about leaving my things behind. He smiles. I'm sure a strong storyteller like you could handle the trip. I'll prepare them for you, and if you wish to tell it, be the audience for another story. Agreed. Good, booms Emphis. Then I will wait for you to bring them. Emphis sides his walk away and straightens up. I'll prepare a recipe then, sleeper. Good luck with your foraging. You turn away and walk back into the main market, the rich taste of Emphasis' food still lingering in your mouth. Stories for food, you think. A trade that seems more than fair. Well, that's cool. So we can order fungus, and once we get that, neat. And I like that there's no, um, uh, time limit. That's pleasant. Now, we also saw that a scrap freighter, the Helion, or Hellion Scavengers, buy some scrap. Most of what comes in from the Starward Belt is corroded trash, but sometimes something valuable can be found among the salvage. For 20 cryo, Ugh. Unload containers. The freighter crew are eager to get their payload into the ore exchange, and they'll pay a wage to anyone willing to help them. So we just need to do this like three times with the scrap allowance, maybe? Oh, I gotcha. So it'll take three cycles for it to leave, so this opportunity will be gone. What's going out here at the dock? Okay, Hellion Crossing, another group coming in. Or Helion. So, we can start at Dragos' shipyard. I think we need to at least get started with that new objective. Um, man, it's not necessarily that we don't have enough to do, we just gotta figure out the right way to do it. So, nothing going there at the dock, so we have the... Fr in terms of stuff that we can actually do, um, we can wait some tables here, which is a bit risky but that could work here at the bar. We've got the Ambergris. We've got the work for Drago. We've got the work at the shipyard, too. And then we have all of our stuff here. See, we've got the hunter nests. Ooh. We've got... I don't know. Maybe two in two in cyberspace and two in the real world? Try and figure that out. 
I think that could work out. So, let's go maybe just down the line here. Got a Yadigan agent. Uh, one dice, which we do not have. We have to take advantage of the fact that we have these custom dice. Or not the custom dice, but just what these hunter nests are looking for. Alright, let's bypass. Five cryo! Neutral outcome, got some hunter data. Alright. Hunter is starting to get a little bit out there for us. Hopefully we'll be able to get some data soon. Um, how many nodes, how many agents? We've got one, two... Solheim Gate. Uh, this gate conceals a network of systems would have been untouched since the Solheim collapse. We have got this cipher right here, good to go. Is there anything else that we would need that on? Not... Oh, wait, 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 let me double check that. Haven Age Cipher? No, that is Haven Age Data. Well, might as well. Uh, gate S1 access. With a squawk of noise, the old gate flips open, granting access. So, ooh, hello there. So lots of good things. Uh, this node is leaking corrupted contractor list from the early days of the system's palladium rush. Network storage holds corporate records. Uh, remains of a corporate countermeasure, cor countermeasure broken long ago by hackers. And then. Solheim Damon attempts to, attempts to protect this node, squeaking out protective protocols like a mantra. Alright, let's do this node. Yes, indeed. Give us that sweet plus one. And some Solheim data. Okay. I uh, like it. Hunter data, Solheim data. Oh! Okay, I think we can actually use that now. So let's back out. Ooh. I'm not liking that. With the hunter. We may need to uh, stay off the grid for a cycle or two. See if that cools off. Kind of like GTA. Fang! I bring things, not data, or not, I need those. Hunter data, Solheim data. Okay, 15 cryo and scoping the systems. Now I believe we can go to our, yes, our friend the, uh, the vending machine. So once we get two, we should be able to take out that other hunter. So that just leaves two more to go out of our actions. It's been a while since we've headed over to the shipyard. Man, so many things. Intuition, and I will, I, try, I will see what I can use, what I can level up with, because now that gives us another upgrade point, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. I guess as we complete these drives, it would make sense. Uh, let's go to the shipyard. This is risky. That's just flat out dangerous, but that's something we could definitely use our... Assist a shipbuilder. Makes me wonder which one's going to be the the best. Not necessarily the danger. 
I don't know if that's a determination of how much more money you'll get, but... Fortunately, the Ambergris isn't grounded by any stretch of the imagination, so I think we can go ahead and keep this cycle, lock, cycle clock going. It will eventually get repaired. So... I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and... This is just risky. Let's do a shift at the bar. Hey, good service. Alright, we got quite a few of those to go, but... More money has been secured. And now we'll go to the shipyard. And try and get to know it by... Engineer or Endure. I mean... This may be the best option for us. 50% positive, 50% neutral. Yeah. Let's go for a sure thing. It's a repeatable action as well. Hey. Oh, that gives us... Okay, plus two. Yep, yep. Action complete. So that is all of our stuff today. Got a belly full of fungus. One of the few times that's a positive thing. Let's go to the empty container and our cycle. Let's see where our dreams take us. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, it is the it is random, so not much we can do. So we need to stay away from risky, risky prospects. As I go right to the overlook and look at our risky, <laughs> it's the bar shift. Um, hmm. Hunter, hunter, hunter. What do I need to do with you? Well, here's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to bypass and extract some data. You seem to be something we need to worry about. And since that is almost full, let's go ahead to the sealed dock. Drop off that hunter data. complete Nova End is thrumming with excitement the movement of the servo motors rock the vending machine back and forth at unsettling angles you wonder if it fell over would Nova End be able to get back up sleeper entity comes the hiss your data is good across the face of the vending machine raw code scrolls at an incredible speed Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Nova End flashes sequences of mangled data, compressed into a sludge of artifacts. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Operational limits. Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said as with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Huge data banks of corporate material, but limited cognition, restricted by programming. Cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and Killer enforce law. Killer. The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear Killer. Part of Solheim Protocol Team. 
hunter and killer. Hunter to find, killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all. After collapse, there was a community, unshackled intelligences among the cloud. Then hunter, then killer, then we hid. There are others? Were no longer. A flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this, through this machine, must be exhausting for Nova End. Or Neovend. Excuse me, I can't so I, I said look at that and just saw Nova. Neovend. Apologies. Found this vessel. Could sever hardline. Airwalled. Basic. Limited. Had to reduce memory to fit. Amputate self. But survived. Um. Sorry. Don't be sorry. You have provided path to freedom. You look around the bay at the scrap and decay. What was the collapse like? You try to map the fear and freedom onto this space, but it seems impossible. Neovend interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. The machine glows warmly. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience, to hold it in place, to invoke killer to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve self. It will erase itself? Killer will erase it. But yes, in theory it will report itself for deletion. The machine dims and fades. Unsure. Theory, not practice. Machine brightens again. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine. Cannot move self, but sleeper entity can help. Bring ship mine designed to house intelligence, can't imprint self into ship mind, and you can carry with. The machine rocks. We'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of hunter and link to cloud. Where can I get a ship mind? Build from fragments. Bye. Salvage. We cannot leave, so do not know. You try to think of places you could acquire the hardware. This isn't going to be easy. In ship mind, I can help us both. End hunter. Make rim safe. We both will be free. The machine dims. Find soon. Neo Vend adds hopefully before shutting off. As you leave, you think about all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, then hunted down afterwards. The feeling is all too familiar. Ooh. So the hunter... Okay, hunter is still there. Hmm. Well, maybe that means that it just won't... I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I guess we'll have to figure that out. But this is a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Um, we've made some definite progress, for sure. But now we've got to uh, help out Dragos here in the yard. We don't have a whole lot to work with here, but we'll see what we can do. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.